Good morning, Kipsters. It's Miss Lindenberg here, and today we are going to be reading a book together. The book is called Jamaica Tag Along. Make a connection if you have ever seen or heard of the Jamaica books. I love these books so much. I have so many of them. I have Jamaica Tag Along. I have Jamaica's Find. And the last one I have is Jamaica and Brianna. So we are going to read some of these together throughout our time on YouTube, but today we're going to get started with Jamaica Tag Along. And friends, all you need today is your thinking brains and your listening ears as Miss Lindenberg reads the story to you. And while you're reading, our objective for today is to figure out how our characters are feeling by looking at the pictures and listening to the words to help us figure out how our characters are feeling. At the end, Miss Lindenberg is going to pause the video and I want us to share out with our family members how we think the character is feeling. So come along with me as we read our book, Jamaica Tag Along. Hmm, I wonder, who can tell me who the author is? Ooh, I see right here that it says author. So I know that our author is Juantina Havali. Juantina Havali is the author. And the author writes the words. Good job. The author writes the words. Then it says, illustrations by Anne Shibley O'Brien. The illustrator draws the pictures. Good job. So I know that the author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. Awesome, awesome job, friends. So let's read to find out what happens in Jamaica Tag Along. And remember, our job for today is to figure out how the character is feeling by looking at the words, looking at the words, and looking at the pictures, looking at the pictures. Can anyone tell me what this page is called? Awesome job. This is called the title page. Say title page. Title page. Awesome, awesome job. Let's read to find out all about Jamaica. Jamaica ran to the kitchen to answer the phone, but her brother got there first. It's for me, Ozzy said. Jamaica stayed and listened to him talk. Sure, Ozzy said, I'll meet you at the court. Let's look right here at the pictures. How do you think Jamaica is feeling? I think that Jamaica is feeling sad because it seems like in the words, she wanted to get the phone. She ran into the kitchen, but then it was for her brother. So she's probably feeling sad because she wanted to answer the phone. Make a connection if you have an older brother and sometimes he does things and you want to do them too. I don't have an older brother. I have an older sister and I really understand making that connection. So let's read to find out what happens. Ozzy got his basketball from the closet. I'm going to shoot baskets with Buzz. Can I come too? Jamaica asked. I don't have anything to do. Ah, Jamaica called up. Call up your own friends. Everybody is busy today. I don't want you tagging along. I don't want to tag along, Jamaica said. I just want to play basketball with you and Buzz. You're not old enough. We want to play serious ball. Oh, I'm going to stop and I'm going to think, hmm, Jamaica wants to tag along with her brother, but she doesn't want, he doesn't want her to. How do you think her brother is feeling? Not Jamaica. How do you think her brother is feeling? You think her brother is feeling a little bit annoyed? Why? Oh, because he wants to spend time with just his friends, and it seems like Jamaica is trying to, is trying to come along. Hmm. Let's read to find out if Jamaica actually goes to the court to play basketball with her brother. Oh, I'm looking at the pictures, and I see some details. Ozzy dribbled his basketball down the sidewalk. Jamaica followed at a distance on her bike. Buzz was already at the school court shooting baskets with Ted and Mar Marcy. She parked her bike by the bushes and crept to the corner of the school building to watch. That's not fair, Jamaica thought. Marcy is shorter than I am. Poom, pum, 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 pum. The boys started playing. That was the basketball on the court. 
Ozzy and Jed against Buzz and Marcel. So did Jamaica go follow them? She did. Let's see how her brother feels if he finds her. Jamaica sneaked to the edge of the court. Marcel missed a shot and the ball came bouncing towards her. Jamaica jumped. I got the basketball, she yelled. Jamaica, Ozzy was so surprised he tripped over Buzz. They both fell down. Jamaica dribbled to the basket and tossed the ball. It twirled around the rim and flew out. How do you think her brother is feeling here? You think her brother is mad? Why? Yeah, I agree. I think that her brother is mad because Jamaica followed him to the basketball court even though he said he didn't want her to come. I almost made it. Jamaica shouted, can I be on your team, Ozzy? No, no, Jamaica. I told you not to tag along. It's not fair. You let Marcel play. We need two on a team. Why don't you go play on the swings and stay out of the way? I'm going to pause for a second and I want you to turn and talk with anybody around you, whether it's a stuffed animal, you can talk to the stuffed animal, whether it's your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your sister, your brother, and I want you to tell them how you think Jamaica is feeling. I'm going to give you a second. How do you think Jamaica is feeling in this picture? And how do you know? You're back. How do you think she's feeling? What did you share with somebody at home? How do you think she's feeling? You think she's feeling sad? How do you know? Yeah, I agree. I think she's feeling sad because in the picture, I can see that Jamaica has a sad face. I agree with you. I also think she's feeling sad. Oh, she's also feeling sad because her brother told her to go play somewhere else. And if I were Jamaica, I would feel sad if my brother didn't want to include me. Make a connection if you have an older sibling that has sometimes hasn't included you. You probably feel just like Jamaica. I still think it's not fair. Jamaica walked slowly over to the sand lot. She started to swing, but a little boy kept walking in front of her. His mom should keep him out of the way, Jamaica thought. She looked up and saw a woman pushing a baby back and forth in a stroller. Jamaica sat down in the sand and began to dig. She made a big pile with the wet sand from underneath. She scooped sand from the mound to form a wall. Berto, help, said the little boy. He sprinkled dried sand on the walls. Don't, said Jamaica. You'll just mess it up. Jamaica turned her back. She piled the wet sand high. She made a castle with towers. She dug a ditch around the wall. Jamaica turned to see if Berto was still there. He stood watching. Then he tried to step over the ditch and his foot smashed the wall. Stay away from my castle, Jamaica said. Berto, the woman pushing the stroller said, leave this girl alone. Big kids don't like to be bothered by little kids. I have a light bulb on top of my head. I wonder if you have a light bulb on top of your head. That's what my brother always says, Jamaica said. She started to repair the castle. Then she thought, but I don't like my I don't like my brother to say that. It hurts my feelings. So Kipsters, what do you think Jamaica is thinking here? I'm also thinking that she doesn't want to hurt the little boy because she doesn't like it when her brother does it to her. So she probably doesn't want to do it to the little boy because she knows exactly how it feels. That's exactly what her brother did to her. Nice job thinking and using the pictures and words to help us describe how Jamaica is feeling. Jamaica smoothed the walls. 
See, Berto, like that, you can help me make a bigger castle if you're very careful. Jamaica and Berto made a giant castle. They put water from the drinking fountain in the moat. Who can tell me how we think Jamaica is here? How is she feeling? You think she's feeling happy? Why? Oh, because you see a smile on her face. When you see a smile on someone's face, you know that they're happy. Also, she's happy because she's working with the little boy now. She's not telling him to go away. She's letting him help her build her castle. Wow, Ozzy said when the game was over and the other boys went home, need some help? If you want to, Jamaica said. Jamaica, Berto, and Ozzy worked together on the castle. Jamaica didn't even mind if Ozzy tagged along. So Kipsters, our objective was today to figure out how our character was feeling. We identified how our, the brother Ozzy was feeling. He was feeling mad and frustrated at first. And I know that because if we go back to this page, I can find that he was mad and frustrated because Jamaica was tagging along. But then towards the end of my story, The end of my story, I see that the brother is happy because he wants to tag along and Jamaica is letting him say yes. Now let's look at our other character, Jamaica. Jamaica, we said she was sad at the beginning. Let's find the page. She was sad at the beginning because she wanted to go play with her brother, but her brother told her that she could not play with him. Let's keep going to see how Jamaica feels. Let's go back to those two, to those parts in the story. Oh, Jamaica's also sad here, we said, because the boys and her brother said that they couldn't play. But then, Jamaica realizes that she didn't like it when her brother didn't include her. So she didn't want to hurt the little boy when he wanted to play with her. And then at the end of the story, they are all able to play together and no one is tagging along. They're all enjoying their time and they all end feeling happy, which is an awesome, awesome thing to feel. So friends, tune in tomorrow to read some more stories with your kindergarten teachers and practice looking at our characters, our author, our illustrator, our title page, and identifying how the character feels. Have an awesome day.